Welcome back to the Anxiety Slayer podcast. I'm Shan Vanderleek, and I'm going to be walking you through a guided tapping session for the fear of getting coronavirus. We've had so much feedback, so many emails and comments on our private Facebook page that Ananga and I thought it would be a good idea to record a guided tapping session just to help you move through this with as much grace and ease as you possibly can. This is something that you can listen to over and over again, even if you're new to tapping. This will help you calm your nerves and feel better. That is, that is our hope, that you will feel better after moving through this process. If you do not know how to tap, you can go to anxietyslayer.com forward slash EFT, and there you'll find a tapping diagram. Guided tapping sessions help you get good results from tapping along with an experienced practitioner, but it's also important to note that your own words are always the best words. As you gain experience with tapping, you can add some extra tapping sessions using your own words to describe your personal concerns with health anxiety. For today's podcast, I went ahead and took notes on the many comments and emails that we've received and worked them into this tapping session. But it is important that you listen out for your own thoughts and insights as they arise while we're tapping. You might even choose to pause the recording and note down your thoughts for your own tapping self-care. Tapping works best when we tune into the issue at hand, in this case coronavirus, and then pay attention to our progress. Take a moment to think right now At this moment, how much your anxiety about coronavirus is impacting you on a scale of 1 to 10. 10 would be the highest felt score, and 0 represents feeling completely calm and relaxed. I invite you to choose a number that represents how you feel in this moment, even though there may be times when your score would be much higher or lower. To get the best results from this tapping session, repeat my words along with me out loud if you can or in your mind if you're tapping privately using headphones. I will keep the statement short and leave a gap between my words so that you can repeat after me easily. We begin with the side of the hand and the karate chop point. This is the pinky side of your hand that you're tapping on the index finger side of your other hand, just like a karate chop. Take a look at the diagram if you're wondering what exactly that means. But it is, if you think about a karate chop with your right or left hand, it is the outside edge of your hand. We'll start tapping now. Even though I worry about my health and getting the coronavirus, I accept myself and respect my thoughts and feelings. Even though I dread that there might be something wrong with me, and these thoughts take over my mind, I accept myself and respect my thoughts and feelings. Even though I look for every sign and symptom of what I fear the most, I accept myself. Now we're going to move on to tapping through the points, starting with the point at the top of the head and working down. And we'll be using some short phrases to remain tuned in to the target of this tapping session. Begin with the top of the head. This fear about getting coronavirus. Eyebrow. This dread that something's wrong. Side of the eye. It makes me feel so scared. Under the eye. I don't know how I'd cope. Under the nose. I can't bear the thought. Center of the chin. The coronavirus makes me feel so vulnerable. Collarbone. All of this anxiety under the arm, this fear about my health. Now take a deep breath and release as you stretch your arms out to the sides or up over your head. 
and I will repeat tapping through the points again. Top of the head. I always think the worst. Eyebrow. My mind is full of fear. Side of the eye. These constant what-if thoughts. Under the eye. The fear that I have the coronavirus. Under the nose. I can't bear the thought. Center of the chin. It makes me feel so scared. Collarbone. But still, I look for evidence that something's really wrong. Under the arm. All this fear in my mind. Now take a deep breath and release it in a long, slow exhalation as you stretch your arms. Now rub your feet on the ground and feel the surface that supports them. Know that right here, right now, in this moment, you are safe. Now we'll tap through the points again. Top of the head. I don't know how I'd cope. Eyebrow. If I was really ill. Side of the eye. I don't know what I'd do. Under the eye. This virus fills me with so much fear. Under the nose. It makes me feel so scared. Center of the chin. It feels like my worst nightmare. Collarbone. This anxiety in my body. Underarm. All this fear in my mind. Now take another deep breath and stretch as you breathe out. And we'll begin tapping again. Top of the head. I always think the worst. Eyebrow. Fixating on my body. Side of the eye. Imagining the worst. Under the eye. In every awful detail. Under the nose. It fills me full of dread. Center of the chin. My mind gets stuck. Collarbone. All this fear. Underarm. This anxiety about my health and the coronavirus. Again, now take another deep breath. Stretch your arms. Breathe in again and exhale. And we're going to move into the portion of our tapping session where we open to possibility. We'll use some words to invite change, affirm self-respect, and invite a new experience for you. Again, beginning at the karate chop point, start tapping. Even though I worry about my health and getting the coronavirus, I accept myself and respect my thoughts and feelings. Even though I still dread that I might get ill with this virus, I choose to reclaim this day and live it as well as I can. Even though I look for every sign and symptom of what I fear the most, I'm open to looking for the good in my body, looking for strength, using my energy well, making good choices to support my health. Now we'll move to the top of the head. Today I'm okay. Eyebrow. As far as I know. Side of the eye. Today I'm well enough. Under the eye. To do whatever I need to do. 
center of the chin. Today I'm alive. Collarbone. Today I'm here. Underarm. Today I'm safe. Top of the head. I choose to claim this moment. Eyebrow. To fill my lungs with air. Side of the eye. To connect with those I love. Under the eye. To live today with presence. Under the nose. To look for what's well in my body. Center of the chin. To focus on the health I have. Collarbone and take this moment back from worries about my future. Underarm. To live this day well. Now take another deep breath in. Stretch and release your breath. Back to the top of your head, releasing all this fear. Eyebrow, relaxing my body side of the eye, releasing all of this fear. Under the eye, breathing deeply. Under the nose, I release this fear. Center of the chin, today I'm alive. Collarbone, today I am here. Underarm, I choose to live this day well. As we close this tapping session, I invite you to let your breath and the tapping points work their magic as you simply tap and breathe, feeling more relaxed, calm, and clear with every breath. We'll start at the top of your head. Take a full breath in and release. Eyebrow, take a full breath in and release. Side of the eye, take a full breath in and release. Under the eye, take a full breath in and exhale. Under the nose, Take a full breath in and exhale. Center of the chin. Take a full breath in and exhale. Collarbone. Take a full breath in and release. Underarm. Take a full breath in and release. Breathing in again stretching and exhaling. And now tapping through our last round for this session. Starting with the top of the head, take a full breath in and exhale. Eyebrow, take a full breath in and release. Side of the eye, take a full breath in and release. Under the eye, take a full breath in and release. Under the nose, take a full breath in and exhale. Center of the chin, take a full breath in and release. Collarbone, take a full breath in and release. Under the arm, take a full breath in and exhale. Now look at the piece of paper where you wrote your number at the beginning of the session and write next to it what your score is now. Or if you just remember what your score was at the beginning and what it is now, that's just fine. Any reduction in the number is a valuable shift. It's an important step in overcoming health anxiety. 
please replay this session if you need to, and continue tapping to bring your score closer to zero. You might choose to work with this tapping session every morning to release any stress and anxiety from your body about the coronavirus and your health. Clearing tension and anxiety supports good health and your immune system. Starting your day free from worry will help you live with presence and stop anxiety from stealing you away from a meaningful day. Sending you so much love. Please know that Ananga and I are here for you. We understand that this is an unsettling time and we'll do all we can to support you. This episode of Anxiety Slayer is brought to you by the Anxiety Slayer First Responder Series for Health Anxieties. You can get this course for 25% off through the end of March at anxietyslayer.teachable.com.